I have everything in place for the ritual. I'll open the portal whenever you're ready. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's paradise. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for paradise, just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? Farewell, my friend. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the Amulet of Kings. Brace yourself. So, the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. Behold the savage garden, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny, to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you. <coughs> You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin say you fought well. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Ganona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle, or offer me service? Your mind follows the simple path, the choice of an animal. But you have courage at least. You will fail, mortal. And then where will you be? Dead and nothing. Ha! 
how little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their... And Dawn's Beauty, the princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Ask yourself, how is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man, while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Ah! Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the... What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night? You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Mankar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. I was one of Mankar Cameron's chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. We were the Chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mankar Cameron was our leader, our teacher, our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mehrunes Dagon as an equal. I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Good. Follow me, and don't worry. You can trust me.
They have tricked you for ages. What's going on? Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? It is Tamriel, the realm of change, brother to madness, sister to deceit. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lork and Vilified, a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamriel. Nothing escapes your vigilance, kin. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth! Tamriel I Daedroth! This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. There's no way for me to cross, but the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramor for as long as I can. <laughs> You made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on! Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent of fate. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. Ha!
you did not expect to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying man. <laughs> 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 You found a way back. Does this mean... You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Belongs to me. The Amulet of Kings. So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true. If the Emperor really was my father. Then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim Blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. I didn't really need the Amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me him back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming Emperor, and quite another to actually be the Emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Akato. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Chancellor Akato is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. <laughs> 